Hello again, and welcome back to Grape School. Now, when I mention Rioja, most people will think red wine, and that is the majority of the production there. There are some white Riojas made, but they tend to be very light, very delicate wines. There's a few exceptions, but the majority are that. Uh, the two main grapes, the white grapes of, of, of modern Rioja, if you want, is Verdeo and Viura. But there are a number of other grapes out there, including one which I'm going to recommend to you today, Machurana Blanca. Now, what's interesting about this grape is that it was one of the first documented white grapes or of any grapes in Rioja back in the early 16th century. But it was almost extinct as of a couple of decades ago. Why? It was really tough to grow, mold, mildew, and people like to get lazy and just grow things that are very easy. Um, but thanks to wineries like Ijalba, uh, who are spending a lot of time recuperating a lot of the more indigenous grapes uh, that have been forgotten in the Rioja area, it's making a comeback. And thankfully it is, because I love it. What is Machorana Blanca? Well, for me it's the perfect mix between refreshing a refreshing wine and a very richer, more textural wine. You smell it? Tropical fruits, white flowers, You get apricot, you get pineapple, but very, very dry, which is what I love. And the beauty of it is that it starts fresh and then it amps out. And the texture is so nice and rich on the finish with this delicate chalky note, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, 2013 Machura Ana, Maturana Blanca from Ijalba uh, just came out. So there's enough out there, 23.50. So it's a little bit more expensive than what I normally recommend, but with crab, lobster, and shrimp all happening really soon, it's absolutely the perfect choice. So, Rioja Obscura, Maturana Blanca. Try it. Talk to you next week. Mm. Awesome.